Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. This is two-handed weapon posing for your Cinti characters. Uh, just the basic models imported with the IK. Nothing, no facial stuff on this one, just pretty simple right now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add an empty to his right hand. So we'll go file. So we'll go up to add, empty, plane access. We'll scale this down. And move it up just to about the center of his hand there. Once we have that completed, we're going to go ahead and we'll import our two handed weapon. So you go to File, Import, FBX. We're going to scroll down until we find a two-handed weapon that we want. I'm going to pick spear number 12 here. Nothing needs to be done, just highlight it and click Import. I'm going to give it a little bit of texture, just so it's easier to see. Now that we've got our texture, we have to apply all of our transforms. You can see our scaling is off, our rotation. Little, little different. So it's highlighted. Go to Object, Apply, All Transforms. Let's just zero everything out. Once it's zeroed, we're going to rotate it on the Y to the 90. Depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed, whichever one you want it in, um, you could rotate it negative 90. We're going to move it up to just a little below the hands, and it can go up or down. It's not really critical. And let's bring it forward. We're going to highlight the armature. Let's go to pose mode. And let's move his hand. Oop, before we do that, back in object mode, we're going to highlight the empty. And then we have to shift select the armature. Now we can go to pose mode. We're going to pair that empty to the hand here. I don't like to pair it directly to the IK bone. I like to put it on the hand bone, this little one right here. So if you highlight that, Control P, we're going to go bone. Now, the empty follows it because we're going to pair the spear to this empty as well. Now we'll move this on the Y and the X. Let's get these in a rough position. For the sake of time, I'm not going to close the fingers around the, the pole. Um, but you can. It's definitely going to make things look a lot nicer. With this one in position, we're going to go back to object mode. We're going to highlight the spear and then shift select the empty. And we're going to control P and we want to object keep transform. And now we should have, if you highlight your armature, go back to pose mode, we should have a spear that's attached to the one hand. Um, you can duplicate the empty, put it wherever you want on this, the rest of the spear, and then do the exact same thing. Uh, it, the hand is just going to stay in one position. Uh, very easy to do. Um, I prefer to do a slightly different method where we'll, I'll show you now. You go back to object mode, you can add, and we want to do a curve, and it's going to be a path. So you can see this is a very long path. We're going to scale it down. Let's move it roughly into position. I'm going for roughly where the hand would be down here and at the top of the pole here. Bring it up. And then we're going to bring it over. And you want to keep it back just a hair because we're going to pair to this bone and there's a slight offset. 
So while we're highlighted on that, we're going to shift select the armature and we're going to go to pose mode. And we're going to highlight this bone, the IK controller bone here. And we're going to go into the bone constraints tab. We're going to add a constraint and it's going to be clamp to. There's only one option, the one path that we have. You can rotate the wrist if you want. Um, let's go back to object mode before we finish. We need to highlight the path and then the spear, and we're going to make a parent. We're going to control P and we want to keep transform. What that did was we just parented this path to the spear. The spear is parented to the empty, which is parented to this hand over here. Now, when we highlight our armature, go to pose mode. When we move this hand, everything should follow with it. You can select this hand and you should be able to slide it down the path and it's going to follow that straight path. Now it's a little, it's going to take some adjustments. But you should be able to get it and then you can rotate the wrist. This bone right here, that small one, you can rotate this to grab onto the bottom. If you need to move the hand down, I would adjust your hand position before you even move it at all. I would move it in this position here in object mode. And then I'll lower your hand wherever you need it to be. Um, lastly, select the armature one more time. If you don't want it tracking, you want it just to be a one-handed weapon, all you have to do is highlight it. Drop your influence down and you have a free moving hand. Now it becomes a one handed weapon instead of a two. Um, as always, leave comments or suggestions and I hope this helps. Thanks.